Hi, I'm Stephen Harper. This is my guide for installing the uh, custom ROM onto a ZT Blade. Um, we're going to be using uh, four files for this. The first one will be to uh, gain root access to the phone and install SuperUser. Uh, the next one will be to um, the custom recovery manager, written by Sebastian, and we'll use that to install recovery onto the recovery partition of the phone. And after that, we'll then install the ROM using uh, Clockwork itself. So the guide's available on Android, uh, Madoko.com, so you can get there and uh, read these instructions throughout if you want to. Um, but this video is uh, supposed to be here to make it a bit more complete. So, first thing I've done is I've mounted my phone over USB, which didn't take any drivers on any operating system, and I have installed, dragged these files into the SD card. So there's a Japanese Jellyfish, that's my ROM, which is a zip file and it's big, it's about 77 meg. There's a recovery clockwork image, which will be written to the recovery part of the phone. And then there's two APK files. These are applications that will be installing onto Android itself. So, on my device. The first thing on to the job on the device is to go and get a file manager to, to do the work uh, of looking at the files. And that is in the marketplace. And in the market, I've searched for Astro File Manager and downloaded and installed it. There it is. So and I'll start that. You'll start on the SD card. I've scrolled to find the folder called ROMs. Click in that. And here are the four files. So the first important thing is to install the Universal Andrew and Recovery Manager. You click on them and open the App Manager and choose the install button there. Mine's already done, but I'll go into both of them to show you again. So Recovery Manager, App Manager, install. After you've done that, while we're here, we should check the MD5s of these files. To do that, you hold down and choose details and an MD5 of the file will be generated. This number should be the same on both of the files. If it's not the same then your files you've got aren't the same as the ones that have been published by the ROM developer and there's a good chance you've got a corrupted file. Um, the Japanese Jellyfish MD5 will take a little bit longer to generate than the other one because it's a bigger file. There it is. And we definitely should check their right. So once they're done, I'll just kill all the tasks that are running and we'll go down to Universal Android. Here we get the root option, so I click root and say yes please and just wait. So at this point it will uh, root my device. This can take a couple of goes but this has worked. It says installing toolkit at the top there and you'll see that it says root, your device is now rooted. So if we go back into the app drawer we can go and see that super user has now arrived and super user, um, I've already run it on here before, so there's a few uh, apps that have asked for super user access and they're already in there. So, what we have to do now is go to the uh, recovery manager, which is uh, Sebastian's application. And as you can see here, we can click on recovery and we're going to install Clockwork Recovery into the recovery part of the phone. So we choose install recovery. This scans the SD card for anything with an extension of IMG. And there's only one, so I'm going to pick that. That will install the recovery onto the phone. So it's using its super user access now to uh, write the recovery part of the phone with the clockwork image. That's now says done. At the bottom it says it's currently installed. And whenever you come back to this tab, it'll tell you what's currently installed in that area. There we are. So now we're going to put the ROM on. So we've got to firmware and we choose install firmware. And now my SD card is scanned for any zip files. And the zip file I'm interested in is the Japanese jellyfish at the top here. So I click on that and I say, OK, I want to do it. And it will now reboot my, my device. Um, it's now rebooting it into the uh, recovery part of the phone automatically. You can get this to happen by holding the down button. The difference by doing it in the ROM manager is the ROM manager queues up some instructions. So it's starting to actually do the install. Uh, if you were to hold down the down button and turn in the phone on, um, you would just get the recovery menu, uh, the clockwork menu, and you can do all sorts of different things in there. This has been automated from the uh, the app itself, uh, but if you want to go and do stuff in Clockwork, you just boot the phone up by holding the down button, or in Recovery Manager, there's a boot into Clockwork mode, which if you click that, it just gets you to the Clockwork menu. And uh, the installation is happening now. Incidentally, when you're in the Clockwork menu, um, the buttons are up and down in menus, for the volume buttons, that's OK, and then back. Right, so it's now rebooting again. So the installation has now occurred and it's going to boot off the normal boot image which was included in the ROM. Um, that's a custom kernel that's been provided. 
that's a custom kernel that's been uh, a frail kernel that's been compiled from source you know, for jellyfish and what we see is the Android splash screen as the kernel boots and then after this the um, splash screen for uh, Android itself will appear the usually animated splash screens uh, the one that you're looking at is just a stock flash screen, it's a standard one during this process uh, the first boot after doing a ROM, lots of installations go on now because I'm putting the same ROM on it'll be a lot quicker on this phone but you wait five, six, seven minutes for some ROMs as they uh, go through the first installation process just be patient if you've waited 10 minutes it's still doing it, something's gone wrong you want to uh, ask on the forums about that or look at the guides however there we are, that's a new installation of Japanese Jellyfish on the system part of my phone and clockwork installed thanks a lot and um, goodbye